Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the plugin called Enchant GUI. So you might as well get rid of your enchantment tables because this saves your players so much time. All they have to do is type one command and it will bring up a menu but then click on what enchant they want to buy. Or if you want, you can even set all the enchants for free so they don't have to worry about spending money on them. But if you want to set the prices, you can set them in the config and it's a really easy plugin to set up. So make sure you have this plugin, it'll be in the description, and the plugin called Vault. So we're going to go ahead and download Enchant GUI. Click download, click download, and just drag this dot jar inside of your plugins folder. Once it's in there, also make sure that you have Vault. I'll be in the description too. So once you have both of those, go ahead and start your server. All right, so once your server started, go inside of your plugins folder. You should see a new folder called Enchant GUI. Open that up. Now you should see the config.yml. You can right click on that, hit L with Notepad or Notepad++. So you should see a couple settings that you can change. Actually, not a couple. It's actually a lot. So you might want to have this as true so the icons can represent enchants themselves. Payment, currency, you can either have it for money or XP, which is pretty cool. You can change the XP options if the payment currency is set to XP. And now here you can change all the enchant prices. So that's all up to you guys how you want to set the prices. That's all up to you. But once you're done, make sure you save it and restart your server and head on to your Minecraft server. Alright, so once you're in Minecraft server, all the players have to do is hold the item that they want to enchant in their hand. Then just type the command slash eShop. This will bring up an awesome GUI menu where they can see all the prices and all the enchants that they can possibly buy. And down here they can change the levels of enchants. So that's all up to them. But they can just left click and purchase the enchant just like that. So now as you can see I have arrow damage level 1. So it's pretty cool and you can see that this plugin is really awesome because it saves so much time they don't need to go to enchantment table or nothing like that. So if you like this tutorial make sure to smack that like button, subscribe for more and peace out guys. Cause it's on a mindset, it's what you gotta get It's a hundred times, you gotta stay positive This is doing now, this is living life If you coming with me, baby, we're doing it right I said we're doing it right Everybody, we'll be doing it right